you had an Uber guy yesterday, and he was telling you about Bitcoin. What did he tell you? Well, yeah, basically the, the ride was, wasn't long enough to, to explain everything, but of course. The, the, the whole uh, technology behind it, that it can't be changed by anyone, no one is pulling the strings, mm -hmm. and they are mining only a few uh, Bitcoins every time, so that's why there it's a niche, it's, it's, uh, but there is a value to it, uh, he explained to me, and that's my own fault, because no one can control it and mm. it's like i thought i see it as if i have a farm with cows and i can have something to treat mm -hmm. you can get something back to it and this this is not uh, controlled by any uh, government or any institute or anything like that so it's from the people uh, somehow and the technology is that safe mm -hmm. they, they say so there's so. a fixed supply yeah and the miners are the ones that are bringing the new Bitcoin into supply, but it's fixed. There's only, do you know how many Bitcoins there will ever be? Well, he, he told me how many there are being made every hour or whatever, yeah. but it's only a few. So That's right. And he said the demand is growing, so, and because the demand is bigger than the, 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 the growing of the Well, the, the demand, Bitcoin. theoretically, can be infinite, right? Yeah. But the supply is the only truly fixed supply of any resource we know about because we can always find more oil, more gold, more diamonds, and they can certainly print more fiat money, right? Yeah. So like dollars or pounds or what currency do they use here? Euro, yeah? Euro, yeah. Um, so they can print that forever, but you can't make more Bitcoins. Um, and it's 3.125 every 10 minutes approximately. So, you know, in an hour, that's about 18 Bitcoins. But that goes down and down and down forever. So you there's the halving event every four years, which reduces that by 50% every four years. Yeah, he, he told me in every four years, the, it also gets volatile, the, 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 the currency, I believe. It, you know, I, I was It's thinking, very volatile. It, it, it is. But the number, do, the number, my friend, is 21 million. But, but what my question was also about the technique, is it really that no one can ever control it? Well, it's a protocol and it's like the internet. And it's not that no one can control it, but it is not subject to political apparatus. Like governments can't just change the protocol. Mm -hmm. um, no one can just go in and change the protocol because anyone can run their own full Bitcoin node and verify their own transactions. And, it, and there's tens of thousands of Bitcoin nodes all around the world. It's impossible to shut it down. It's a decentralized network. And you can be your own bank effectively. It gives people the ability to transact peer-to-peer -peer value from person A to person B and it's permissionless. You don't need a bank to sign your transaction. You don't need a government to sign your transaction. So it's power to the people um, from that perspective. Well, yeah, that, that was my thought. What I mean, I didn't ever read about it. I don't see much about it on TV, mm -hmm. but I was always figuring what is the thing behind it. And it is, it's not controlled by any government or whatever, and it's from the people that they own it. And I think that that is the value of it uh, somehow. Mm. But I still, I don't have any Bitcoin yet. That's I see fault. those yeah. prices uh, every now and then. Now it's around, I believe, 60,000 euros, something like that. But then a couple of months ago, it was around 40,000. And then, oh my God, I think, <laughs> do I put my money in there? I just sold my house. I can put some money in there. Very but nice. I'm, I'm still. Well, where sure. else are you going to put it? This is a big question that yeah. people have because what Bitcoin allows people to do is save for the first time ever, really, in human history. You can save, and what you're saving in can't be diluted because they can't make more of it. So they can always print more fiat money, they can always build more real estate, they can always find more gold but they can't make more Bitcoin. This is why it's safety. Okay, that's what you're telling me, but mm -hmm. uh, still my guts are not uh, in, in the right perspective. Well, at the moment, the rates are quite high on, 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 uh, uh, Real on the savings. No, on the savings as well. Oh, yeah. You know, so I got some in France, in Spain, and here and there. Uh, uh -huh. so but but versus inflation, my friend, you might yeah. want to consider real inflation 
is much higher than the interest rates that you're receiving. And the, if the us, banks are always giving us less, right? They're generating inflation's really high. Would you agree? They're eating your money, so anyway, that's right. So every, everything you do, they, they charge you for anything. So, and I would argue that Bitcoin is the only safety from this inflation problem. Yeah, but when I put money in Bitcoin, it goes down another twenty. That's only short again. term, my friend. Yeah, only yeah. very short term. You need to have to, a long horizon. With yes, it. yes. Anyway, if I need my money, basically, no one has ever lost any fiat denominated value if they held Bitcoin for four years or longer. Okay. So if you're going to approach Bitcoin, it's not a get rich quick thing. It's a it's a value preservation technology, and you certainly should approach it with like a long time horizon not not it's not a quick bang quick buck it's it's very long term there is this four years thing the, the other guy also the having the, yeah in which period are we now at, at the bit side of we just the had the having in april okay. we just had the having okay and the supply was reduced by 50 percent the uh inflation rate so to say the new bitcoins that are mined that's the business that I'm in is mining. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you my card. Uh, um, if you're, we can connect. Uh, there you go, my friend. Cheers, man. But yeah, it's very powerful technology. And the thing is, is you don't learn about this. Nobody like the mainstream media is not going to tell you about it. The government's not going to tell you about it. Absolutely not. Right? But it does give power to people like you and me. Well, yeah, that, that, that's what my thought was about it. But then I thought, oh, I always say when people say, if I knew anything, then I always say, I wish I bought Bitcoins. <laughs> They'll know? be saying that in 10 more years. They'll say, I wish I bought it in 2024. Okay. I Certainly, it's early days, in my opinion. That's what this guy yesterday mm -hmm. also said, yeah. But you guys what did already... he say that was the same as me? Anything the same? Uh, that, that, that we're still in the beginning of it, because yeah. there's so many countries with uh, uh, with 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 Bitcoin 